Hey everybody, John here, obviously. And if you're like me, um, and probably a vast majority of the public, when you look at Black Lives Matter and Antifa, you probably look at people who you view with uh, towering and seething contempt and scorn. Black Lives Matter, supposedly anti-racists, except they're nothing except violent, despicable, and extremely stupid racists themselves. And Antifa, the anti-fascists, <laughs> when in fact what you see when you look at them are violent, thuggish, um, idiotic, hive-minded fascists themselves. But of course, like everybody else, Black Lives Matter and Antifa individual members are human beings who need to be loved and respected. And I have found a way today to increase your love and mine and our respect for Black Lives Matter and Antifa members. Now, in order to not view Black Lives Matter and Antifa members with towering and seething contempt and scorn, which is probably what you view them with and what's, it's, it's the way I viewed them until just minutes before beginning this video. In order to not view them with towering contempt and scorn, it's necessary to delve into the field of Austrian economics. Um, and you might think I'm taking a hard left turn, but I'm not. See if you can follow along. Ludwig von Mises and later Murray Rothbard, his student, both articulated the idea that a supply of either a product or a service within a market creates its own demand for that product or service. And from a market perspective, Antifa, the so-called anti-fascist movement, which we have all come to, to regard as simply being themselves nothing except violent and thuggish fascists, and Black Lives Matter, the anti-racist movement, which we have all observed and learned that they are nothing except violent, stupid, and thuggish racist filth to be treated with contempt and scorn, are not simply violent, thuggish, and extremely stupid racists and fascists themselves. They are entrepreneurs who deserve our respect. Why do I say that? Because although there has not been in the United States and Canada and Europe pervasive, deep-seated and institutional racism and fascism in any of the places where these violent, thuggish fascists and racists operate, in order to provide a service in the form of opposition to racism or opposition to fascism, as competent and skilled and knowledgeable entrepreneurs, they had to supply racism in the part of Black Lives Matter and had to provide an environment replete and filled with violent fascism in order to then provide the service of opposing that fascism. Therefore, rather than viewing Antifa as simply thuggish and violent fascists themselves, it is more correct using Austrian economics to recognize that Antifa are actually skilled and highly competent entrepreneurs providing a service that they have created a need for. And Black Lives Matter are in fact highly skilled and competent entrepreneurs in the capitalist system opposing the racism that they are, uh, in fact, supplying the racism that they are there to oppose. And in this way, understanding that a supply within a market creates its own demand, we should have respect and admiration for both Black Lives Matter operatives and Antifa operatives who are, in fact, very skilled and competent capitalists creating a demand for what they are supplying. Uh, and because I'm a capitalist too, I want to thank you for your support through my channel for Patreon and Subscribestar. Links in the low bar. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a lovely, lovely day.